How many of you are kind of getting upset about um, you're trying to stream on an old laptop and it keeps freezing or you're trying to edit your video and it keeps crashing? I, I don't know how many times I've converted video and I try to do anything else on my computer and the whole thing just is in thinking mode forever, it just crashes. Well, I'm gonna show you how to fix that immediately with one of these cheap little microchips. This is RAM memory. And on these older computers, it's so cheap to get one of these. So I got this four gig DVR4, which is like the newest RAM chip um, for free because it's just old school and they're only worth a couple of bucks. Um, I recently bought an eight gig chip for $19 on Amazon and I had it even sent to my house for, for the same 20 bucks. And it made my computer run so fast, I didn't even need to buy a laptop again. So we're gonna take this old HP laptop from 2017, uh, iCore 5, I think, it's an i5. And it came with um, four gigs of RAM. So I've had it for, since it was new. Um, and I am trying to download and do 4K videos for my viewers now, but this can't handle it. Um, it only has 4K of RAM, so it maxes out immediately when I'm trying to do extra large video. Uh, now, if I double that and I have eight, then I'll, I'll be able to put like three or four gigabytes of RAM just for the video process so it doesn't get glitched up and freeze and it starts to overheat. Once it overheats, the processor is done, it's kaput. It, it just it won't do anything, it freezes. So we're gonna add this extra chip and we're gonna turn this computer into, I'll be able to do all my editing and still watch a streaming service at the same time and no more glitches or thinking about it. So let's go ahead and get this computer turned over. There's little screws down in here so I had to take this piece of the stripping off, this piece right here, I just wanted to show you. And I had to pull this off because there's bolts underneath. Now, once you put this back on, it's not really sticky anymore. You can buy some double sticky tape and put that on there. Or you can just put a couple of taps of glue at the end, you know, one, two at the end and one in the middle, and this should stick on again. But you have to get these screws underneath. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a real small Phillips head and start getting these screws out. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like when I pop the bottom off so we can see where to put our new RAM microchip and make our computers run fast like a newer computer and only spending up to $20. Regular Phillips head. So I got them all out, but two, I just wanted to show you how easy they are to get out. Sometimes you have to take them out one by one and just turn it over and tap it if they're like so close. I don't have a magnet on me right now today. So I just hold on to it and it fell, falls out right into your hand. There it is. So let's see. Be careful when you're doing this. So this HP happens to be very easy. We just undid the bottom panel and took it off. Nothing is actually attached. It's just a bottom plate. That's it. It's super easy. And getting right into the computer. This is your battery. If you need to change your battery for any reason, you would unbolt this screw right here. One screw here. 
and one screw here and one screw here so there is arrows where the screws are ex except there is no this battery must go in different applications because there's this one would go right on that microchip so you would do one two three and then lift up and then pull out so there's no screws back here either it's just into a plate so this is your battery flat battery um here is your hard drive over here so if something happens and your hard drive messes up you could one two uh and take these this this should come out or it might be these two and this will come out you see it's almost out already right it's, i feel like this stuff is not even put in here very well <clears throat> this is your wi-fi chip w l a n let's get a closer look at that so the wi-fi chip here has a screw right here and then a small microchip you just follow where the microchip goes and i don't okay so it's it's down here actually underneath it when you pull this up this one white cord with this little brass fitting is underneath and you just pop it up with your finger and push it back down it, the chip is very easy to put in um this is your fan to keep the so the processor is here and it's one two three four and this top plate will come up and then there's a processor underneath this top plate is the radiator it's made out of brass because it it conducts the most heat um take away so it it i forget what the word is off the top of my head sorry i have aphasia uh, and then goes to the fan to this like radiator system. So if you have to change your fan, you can unplug the fan here as well and then undo the one screw right here. So let's get a closer look at that. Undo the one screw right here. And once you undo the screw, I, I think this is the fan uh, piece right here or there's one underneath that looks exactly like it. And, and you just put the one clip back in, put the fan back down, screw it in. It, it, it's it. Same with the LAN, the, the wireless. All, all these components are the same. So you should have a pretty easy time to do it. Now, this one looks like it, an older version came with a CD drive here. See, it's open, but mine doesn't have an opening for a CD drive. But you see how it's kind of takes the space away? So in an older one or another model, like a nicer one, this would be flat bottom. And they would put a CD drive in here on the side and it connects into this microchip right here that's soldered on the motherboard already. You know, but I just, I don't have that piece in mine. And let's get to the RAM chip right here. I mean, this is like the best computer I've ever worked on because you don't have to flip up the motherboard. So if you want to check out another computer, you can click the link right over here and it'll show you how to put RAM chips and all this other stuff into an Asus laptop. This is a Hewlett Packard. Now we have a, a RAM chip in here already and we're going to add a second one. So they're pretty easy. You see there's two cuts out of the chip right here. That's where these two pieces will clip in. And you can see there's a divider in the chip. So we're going to look real close to where the divider is. So it's not this way. We'll put it close. Okay, that's it. So what you want to do is you don't want to try to slide it in this way because you might damage something. You want to put the chip on top of where the lines are and line it up with the chip divider and get it in there so it doesn't move and then kind of lay it down while you slide it in at the same time and then once you're there you just push it down and those two pieces here these two pieces here is what you heard clipped in so once i push it down it just widens this up and clips it back in and it's ready to go now and if I wanted to take one out, that's, then all I do is I pop it with my finger. I'm going to pull this this way. You see it's already out. Then I'm going to pull this one away. And the chip pops up. So I would just take the chip out. And I do the same thing. I line up the hole with where the divider is on the top. 
and I kind of push down and slide in at the same time, push all the way down, and there it is. Now you have your RAM chip in. So mine only came with a four RAM chip. I had already taken this apart and taken the four out and put in a single eight in, and I used my four for my other laptop for the um, Asus. So, or I put an eight in there and a four. So now I have a four and an eight in here and a four and eight in there. And instead, this only came with a four. So basically it only came like this, four, and that's all you got. But I updated to an eight and now we just update it again to a free four. Now I could have put another eight in here, eight and eight and made 16. I feel like that's way too much overkill. Uh, if I would have had to buy one, I would have probably bought an eight to match this one just to have it because they're so cheap, 20 bucks. But like I said, I got this one for free. Usually don't even see fours anymore. They're they're getting kind of out of um, out of stock or out of, they're just, they're too old. Uh, they made a two before this and a one before that. So I still have a two in one of my laptops. So once I turn this to an eight and this is an eight, I'll take this four out and put that in the other laptop and I'll throw the two away. So now all I have to do is put the back back on and pop it all back in. So I just laid it back on there and I pop it all back in. I'm going to take all the screws here and just put them back in the laptop real easy and screw them all in. I'm going to go all the way around and then I'm going to turn the laptop on and show you that it works. So after that, my BIOS came on. Uh, this is an important BIOS update is available. Blah, blah, blah. Apply update now. So now it's going to go through my BIOS. <clears throat> now the reason it's doing a BIOS upgrade is because the computer has never had this much RAM before. So if the computer needs more RAM, it needs a new, it, it needs a new like system update. It's not gonna make it from Windows 10 to Windows 11, but it's only allowing the computer to do certain things within a perimeter. And now that I have the ability to have more, it's going to make the computer say, oh, now we can put X amount to um, uh, to graphics card. We could put X amount to this. We could put X amount to um, page filing and and, and um, streaming and that kind of stuff. So I'm showing you the BIOS upgrade. If it says you need a firmware or if you put your chip in, let's say this is what happened to me. I put the microchip in and then I turned the computer on. And then I went in to see the computer filing and it still said um, uh, the same original amount of gigabytes for the RAM. The new RAM didn't, it, I mean, it's in their hard drive, but it, it didn't actually, it, it's not authorizing it. It was too much. So then I, I had to go in to my settings and um, look for updates and when I looked for additional update, so if your update doesn't come up, sometimes you can click where I wish I would have showed it to you, where it'll say optional updates. So click that and it'll scroll down and it'll say like, oh, you have all these options that you could update, but you don't need to for your settings. You know, if you want to add something, you can update this if you want to do something else. So this one was called a firmware update, which means you change the hardware and now the computer needs to reach out over the internet to get a different set of sequence and algorithms so it can now harness this new energy. Um, it's still working, I'm still only at 35%. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the uh, video off here. When it comes back up, I'm gonna reboot everything and show you what it actually did and show you that it's showing the new RAM gigabyte stick in the computer.
So I just want you guys to know, like this thing has turned on and off on its own, I'd say about eight times. Three times it turned on and off super quick, just like on off on off. You cannot mess with this when you're doing your BIOS update. No matter what you install when you're doing BIOS update, you have to continuously just let this go. I would plug the computer in and just not touch it. If you mess this up or shut the computer off or it loses battery while it's doing a BIOS update, you probably messed up your motherboard and you're not gonna be able to ever use that computer again. Um, components, yes, but the motherboard's probably shot. So please don't touch this. It's been like five, 10 minutes. It's been doing this on off, on off thing. You just have to let it go. This is the second time it's running now through BIOS update after it's shut itself on and off six times. Hopefully this is the last time. And then I'll show you the, the sheet or the page that says how much RAM and, and what it is. So just because you made it this far, I got a little joke for you. All right, so it says that we have eight gigs in now. So it was a four. This is a weaker computer than I thought. Um, the other computer, the Asus, got the eight gig RAM chip. You can look at that in my uh, playlist as well. We did an upgrade. So this had the four chip and then we just put another four chip in it as well. Uh, we're now up to eight gigs, 7.88 usable. That's fantastic. Um, and the computer is way faster. It speeds up. It, 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 I could do multiple things. I've tried a couple of multiple things already. Um, the computer's, the computer's way faster. It starts up like three times faster. Now, uh, when I hit the button just to start up from a stop, it like is super fast to come on. Um, I just tried to convert video while I was watching a YouTube video and both worked at the same time. I'm very happy with this, what happened. So if you need to upgrade your RAM, please do this. It's it's worth it to spend 20 bucks. Spend the 20 bucks and get an eight, eight gig uh, chip instead of four. Um, I just, I got the four for free, like I said, so I'm not gonna waste it. And um, I'm telling you, if you do this quick little thing like I did, um, it's really gonna go, into your advantage you're probably going to save yourself hundreds of dollars not having to buy a new computer and um, be able to save everything you've saved on your old laptop and still be able to use it for another one two maybe three years you, you can upgrade these a lot so i hope everyone did great um, thank you for coming and remember give us a thumbs up like subscribe share um, we're doing all kinds of different DIY stuff. I just hope that everyone learns a, a new skill, save some money and build your confidence. And if you are into autos, we have an auto channel as well. Our original disturbing creations, auto channel, disturbing creations. Um, please check it out. We've got like 350 videos on that. That's our main channel. But since I like doing DIY, I started this channel as well. Uh, if you do like this channel, even if you don't like cars, why don't you go over there and hit me up with a subscribe because it really helps me out a lot. I'm not making anything on this channel. This is just for fun to help people. And I'm making about $20 a month now, um, going on my third month of being monetized with the auto channel. But if I get a lot more subscribers, I think it would help out. And then I can use some of that money on this channel. So hook us up. Have a great day. God bless you all. We love you.